Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. So in today's episode, basically, we're going to be building a 0-6 sugar cane farm. So um, again, for you guys that have uh, come on this video to watch that um, tutorial, um, here's a timestamp now, so you can uh, skip ahead and just literally watch the tutorial if you so choose. Um, so yeah, last episode, we managed to activate our end portal. Um, so now what we need to do is prepare for the fight for our first um, ender dragon fight, okay? So basically, um, I've come... All the way back over here at spawn as you can see um this is exactly where i spawned well it's not exactly i'll show you in a sec um but we've got some super cool stuff going on again um if you haven't already make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on because um i've got some really good feeling about this series um again um so yeah let me just show you what's been going on so basically um uh, that's my first end of portal uh, end portal never portal that i set up um, I've been through it, I've found the fortress, um, I'm trying to, like, avoid it, but, um, I think I got it a mi bit mixed up, obviously we've got the goats, um, the mountain update coming first, before the nether update, so I think it's gonna be sometime before the nether update, um, but yeah, um, basically, here's my pets, I've got a, a horse, um, obviously you've just seen that in the hole, I've got, I've got my, uh, dog Mac, who's not got a collar on yet, I'm just gonna go sleep. Um, and then, yeah, basically, I'll show you the spawn spot, and then we'll actually go down to the base where I've been living. So there, just that little pile of sand is exactly where I spawned. And again, this location, at first, I thought, you know what, I didn't know about it, but I thought, you know what, we're just going to go with it. Obviously, um, the other world got deleted, so um, I had my work cut out. Okay, and the first cave that I came across um, literally had two spawners that was really close together. So basically, um, I made like an XP farm. Um, I actually made this after last episode um but basically it's really good really powerful um and this is the little cave that i've been living in down here so as you can see it might get a little loud because of that so i might actually turn the um audio down in the background but yeah this um thing obviously it busts out skeletons and zombies so it's super super awesome again i've never actually built a double um xp farm uh, yet so i thought you know what simply survival let's get that done right at the beginning now i've got an epic epic source of um xp hence why i've got all my tools upgraded already and stuff like that um, and we're only in the second episode. Again, um, I'm going to do some kind of little showcase of this farm as well at some point. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do that in a future episode to show you guys. Um, I've just really been trying to grind um, the enchantment table. And we're really struggling at the minute because we haven't got mending. I've gone through so many swords. Um, obviously, we need mending. So um, that's something that we need to sort out as fast as possible. But here we have it. This is the area that... Um, we're going to be building this exact sugarcane farming. Now, this sugarcane farm is zero tick, and it's super, super fast. Um, again, I've literally... I came across this design. Um, I think it came on uh, Skippy's channel. Um, again, there'll be a link to his channel in the description, but I'm pretty sure that there was someone else who actually made this design. Um, however, like I say, this is the best on Bedrock. Again, um, f for the resources it takes to actually build... Um, is actually amazing. Like I said, zero tick, and I've never actually needed more sugarcane than these produce. I mean, I have two or three in one world. I mean, there is other designs, um, but yeah, um, basically, um, we'll get into that in the tutorial. So yeah, this is just my mine. Um, I basically need to create some better access to um, my mine, but right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get on to this tutorial. So these are the items that you're actually going to need. Okay, so the blocks you're going to need are as followed. You're going to need seven blocks of choice. I know it says six there, but I got it wrong. Um, one block of dirt, one stone stairs or any stairs, 12 pieces of glass, one um, holder block. You're going to need one redstone repeater. Um, three redstone torches, you're also going to need three pieces of redstone, um, one lever, two pistons, um, a hopper, a bucket of water, a chest, and obviously a piece of sugar cane. Okay, so step one, we're just going to basically grab our blocks of choice, and we're going to lay the blocks out in this exact pattern, as you can see here. So we're going to put it exactly next to this one, so it's nice and symmetrical. Um, we're going to place our first block. I'm going to use the dirt just as a holder block to get that block in place. Again, I'll probably use the dirt again. Um, and then I'll place the final two blocks um, there and there. Okay, so next what we're going to do, we're actually going to um, go up. We're going to put our piston on and we're also going to put our chest on alongside um, our block of dirt. So we can put all of those on. So we're going to put our first piston um, on the back. We're going to crouch space and just place it there like so. We can also go ahead and put our dirt on now as well. 
and alongside that we can also put our chest on the front so um basically um redstone wise it's actually quite simple obviously i didn't put the chest on for some reason just there so let's just go and throw the one piece of redstone that's at the bottom just there and also, we're going to want to grab ourselves some torches right now, and we're going to place the um, torches on the bottom. So we're going to want to put one torch there in that exact position. We're going to grab our only redstone repeater. I'm not sure why I've got two. I must have put one extra in the chest. And we're going to um, place that facing the back wall um, like so. So all you're going to do is jump like I'm doing, and then literally place it there facing like that. Now, it's going to um, make the piston obviously keep retracting and detracting. So what you're going to want to do is grab your lever and turn that off. Also, that's going to be super annoying while you're building this. So um, next step, obviously, um, now we can actually put the chest on. I mean, you could have put the chest on anyway. Um, it doesn't really matter when you put the chest on, but I'm just going to put it on now because I obviously forgot. That's if I can jump up and get it anyway. There we go. And also, we can now add the um, hopper to the back of of that chest and all we're going to do is crouch space and literally put the hopper in the back of the chest so now we need to actually go on top and um, place the blocks as you can see at the back so that's what we're going to do so um, first of all before we do go up place one block um, on on the top of that um, like retracted piston like that um, and place a redstone torch on that block also now what you're going to want to do is um, get yourself some blocks just to actually get on top of the build so um i actually need to go and grab myself some blocks actually because i'm i'm missing one of the um blocks obviously as you can see i'm just missing one of those blocks um one of the blocks of choice so i'm just going to run to my chairs and just see if there's one in there no i'll just run to this one um i'll just grab that super awesome there we go in fact i'll just take the whole lot um a lot easier that way right i'll have enough to get up on top and finish off the build so uh yeah we're just going to go on top and basically we're going to place our final two blocks there um straight on top of that block and there like that so after that we're going to grab our final two pieces of redstone dust and place them on top of those two blocks okay okay so at this point we need to get our holder block so we can actually put our stair in the right position so th the stair will hold the water um and obviously we can get it in the right position so we want to place a block there and a block there remove that bottom block and um where that bottom block was is where your stair is going to go but we're going to need to jump off to place it um, we're going to crouch place um, and just place it there exactly like that so it's facing like that it's very important it's in that position so now actually um, we can go back on top of the build and we can obviously um, add our water and add our glass and add our remaining piston that's not actually on there yet so let me just get on top um, straight away I'm going to add the piston um, let me just grab that first of all I'll just take this down um, keep it all neat and tidy so, again, let me grab the last piston and the glass. First of all, I'll tell you what, let's put the water in. Um, I, I, there's not really a lot to do now, so um, I'm pretty sure um, you'll be able to keep track. Um, so, yeah, first of all, let's put these pieces of glass on the bottom of that piston. You want it on, like, the neck of the piston and next to the um, stairs as well. So, just two blocks there. And then exactly the same on this side. But, obviously, place your water in that stair first before putting... Um, the last piece of glass on top so now place the piece um, of glass on top now we can obviously add our other pieces of glass but we're also going to want to add our piston so just crouch add our piston facing that way okay so um, now like I said we can just literally block this thing up and um, add the rest of the glass now the glass um, it's important you have the glass this makes it basically lossless um, the sugar cane uh, basically just goes straight into the hopper once it was pushed by the piston um, so yeah, um, you might need a few holder blocks to place them, but you just need two on top of the chest. Um, you literally need one next to that, so uh, going across, and then um, another one this way like that. Again, you might need to um, come across again like that, both sides, and then you're also going to need to put a holder block on the um, ones on top of a chest, and... Um, there you go, put the last two pieces of glass. So obviously, um, actually I probably should mention you're going to need to turn this machine on before you can actually place this sugar cane. So I'm obviously going to silk touch this glass so it doesn't break. And then you can place the sugar cane. If you don't turn the machine on, you won't be able to um, place this sugar cane. That's very, very important. But basically, um, that is the whole build complete. It was super, super fast, super easy. Um, like I say... 
It's really light on resources, which is one of the main asset like assets of this build. I think um, it's it's one of those things that you can build early game really fast. Now I've got unlimited supply of paper, which means maps. Um, and obviously when we get some leather, we can make a limited supply of books and use them on our um, table. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to kill all the mobs behind me and I'm going to see how long um, it, that takes. I don't think it takes too long. I mean, it's been building up for about 10 minutes, so it should take about a minute or two to actually kill all those mobs. I'm going to kill all those mobs and see how much sugar cane um, is produced um, while we're just doing that. Okay, so I've killed all the mobs in the mob farm. So right now, um, basically this is going to keep coming because every time I'm standing in this exact cave, obviously it's just activating both of those um, spawners. So right now, look, we've got one and a half stacks from that one and we've got one and a half stacks from that one. I already had a little bit um, in there already. Again, these are super fast. It's been about one, two minutes max and literally... Um, I've managed to get, uh, what, three stacks in total just from two of these machines. I think these are the best in bedrock, like I say, for the resources it takes um, and the time it takes to actually produce the sugar cane. It's super, super awesome. Okay, so that is literally it for episode two of Simply Survival. Again, um, if you've enjoyed it, please smash a like on the video. Let me know that you do enjoy the video. Again, if you've got any suggestions of farms you want me to build um, in the Simply Survival series, um, please let me know in the comments and I will take that um, information on board. Again, if you're not part of the Discord, make sure you go and um, become a member of the Discord. We're ever closer to 200 members. Again, um, we're getting a free Jamarkey realm opening very very soon as well so if you're not part of the discord go and get all the details over there um so yeah i just want to say thank you um to everybody who's been supporting my channel at the minute um and literally i will catch you on the next one